So guys, in the last video we analyzed PT diagrams. Now it's time to analyze PV diagram. It's essentially you're going to have pressure and volume here and you will be able to graph the data. Uh, interesting is that I am talking about a specific volume, not total volume. So this is essentially volume per unit mass. Essentially you have one kilo of vapor. How much volume does that uh, kilo occupy? We can now visualize or see this area, which is very important, the bell-shaped area. Uh, it's the mixture between liquid and vapor. I'm going to introduce it later, but you can analyze it from now. This is very important when working with mixtures of vapor liquid, and you, that mixture are or those mixtures are very interesting. Uh, it's also easy to find the triple point. Not as easy with the PT diagram, but this is still easy to find it. Uh, the good, the interesting part here is that the triple point right now will be a line. So essentially, PVT, you will have a line, okay. And what else? Why a line? That's a good question. I want you to understand that. And the other market lines are saturation lines between phases. So essentially, let's see. You have the y-axis, which is pressure. You have the specific volume here in the x-axis. This dotted line is the equilibrium between liquid and vapor. Actually, here you have a vapor mixture, liquid vapor mixture, which of course you weren't able before to see that because when you do pressure and temperature, it's only 1.12 value. But if you have volume, you will see that at first you have liquid, and then you start having liquid and vapor, and you know vapor goes very rapidly in high volume and finally you have a huge volume with only vapor so this is the mixture we're talking about is this case this case will be essentially one point in the line this will be the other here and this here guys is the important part of this diagram which we will be analyzing later don't worry that's why I'm not getting into specific data but let me show you before advancing uh, you may also include solids because in this video you only included liquid mixture and heat, uh, superheated steam. Sorry, you will find here liquid, liquid solid interaction, which is of course a little compared to the liquid gas. Here, you will have your solid, you will have solid and gas, which is also normal. You will have your gas. So essentially, you have the two phases: solid, liquid, gas. You have the three mixtures, liquid, uh, solid, liquid gas, and solid gas. Now, let me erase that for a moment. Why do I show you two diagrams? Because you will see that for solids, there are solids that contract when freezing, and there are solids that expand with freezing uh, substances, such as water. For probably you, if you've frozen, you have this flask, and you put... 100% water complete, it will expand, probably it will even break. And you have other substances which of course uh, the general knowledge that if you increase temperature you expand and if you decrease temperature you contract. There are substances that are according to this law they are okay but for example water does not follow that criteria. So you must have these two different type of diagrams. In the first one you have almost a, let's say, an angle like this, and in the other one you have this angle, okay? And yeah, I think we're done with the PV diagram, guys. I'm sorry we have no extra data, but I just wanted to show you the critical point, which is right here. Uh, the, where is it? This is a liquid, all this is a mixture, and the red dot is the superheated steam or actually is a saturated vapor. You have all this which is the volume of a liquid vapor mixture and if you want to go uh, isobaric you will do this. You will see how you advance and as you increase the volume of course you need to increase the temperature okay and that's everything on PV diagrams guys. <laughs>
What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.